Hi, hi. My name is Limbiata. Welcome to my podcast, Color and Craft. Uh, this is my very first normal episode. I started with the boom with the uh, vlogmas just uh, yeah in December. So and now we are in February, and I thought it's <laughs> about time to start podcasting again. So um, yeah, as I mentioned. My name is Limbiata. Uh, I am 41 years old. I live at a small farm in the western coast Norway um, with a partner and two kids. Um, and what else? Yeah, this podcast is about crafts uh, and my love of colors. Um, I mostly knit, but I also do some crochet, embroidery, and I want to start sewing again. <laughs> uh, so yeah, but today um, I have a lot of stuff around me. <laughs> uh, oh, I had to remember which order I was supposed to do things in. So I have a note, I have some notes. So that's what I'm looking down at. Um, yeah, so just bear with me first normal podcast episode. Okay, breathe. <laughs> so um, today I thought I would focus on what I've been knitting on um, in 2024. So January and now we're 22nd of February. So time really flies. Okay, so in January I... Okay, so... <laughs> I test knit some um, mittens uh, and I haven't weaved in the ends. <laughs> I forgot. Uh, but anyways, um, I have some plans for this anyway. Um, so this was a test knit. Color work. Not my strongest suit, but you know, I tried and mittens are a nice way to practice. It's not too big a project and it's, uh, yeah, you get results pretty quickly. So this, the designer is uh, Skiatustrik on Instagram. She is Icelandic, I forgot her name, sorry. Um, but she lives in Norway and she does a lot of, she's, she has a small account, I will, um, write everything below maybe I even get to make like <laughs> on the screen <laughs> I, I, I don't know how to do it yet but I'll I'll try to figure it out before uploading but if not check down below um, she has a pretty small Instagram account she's not a big designer but she does make a lot of uh, mittens or other stuff I test knit a uh, a balloon hat for kids with intarsia a couple of years back too and it was a lot of fun she has a lot of uh, cool techniques and yeah different kind of designs playful uh, she also loves colors like me so I always get inspired by looking at her stuff so these are called Pryd Fisk Botter um, Something with fish mittens in English. Uh, <laughs> um, I don't, I think, I don't, yeah, maybe it's only in Norwegian and Icelandic yet, but it's pretty straightforward when you have the diagram. Um, so yeah, this, oh, I have some more stuff here. It's knit in this yarn here. Raumagan Fivel. The thing is, I did knit um, a sweater for my oldest girl, she's soon to be six, uh, last spring, and I had some leftovers. Uh, almost three full balls, actually. I was a bit unlucky with how it turned out. So these are still my leftovers after I had these pair of mittens. Um, but I have, so now I have this. I bought an extra ball because, or maybe that's for another. 
yeah i have a project in mind for the leftovers as well but let me finish up on these so the thing is even though i um i have a little trouble with keeping getting the right or keeping my gauge with this yarn uh, this is the second time i knit with it and it's really hard for me <laughs> like the sweater i won't get into it today but it was like a, a saga it, it changed all the different sections of the sweater and I, I couldn't really figure it out i think it's because maybe i'm used to knitting with more <laughs> slippery yarn and this is a bit rustic so it's um yeah i don't know <laughs> um but it's it's a really nice yarn. It's produced Norwegian wool produced in Norway, not that far away from where I live actually. This is in Arauma and I live closer to Ålesund. Uh, we're in the same county. Um, so I like to to try and use the the Norwegian uh, yarn, and especially with Norwegian wool because yeah, I like I like that. But, you know, I, I will show you some things afterwards that it's completely <laughs> not Norwegian. <laughs> but anyway, um, so I really like this. But I need to figure out my gauge. Uh, well, it's, it's not a problem. It's just that things are a little bit bigger. And I didn't make a swatch for mittens <laughs> because I thought the mittens are a swatch. But then when I started out, it looked... It looked okay, and then when I started the color work, <sighs> yeah, so it's a little bit big for me, you know. The... So I thought, yeah, okay, I'll weave in the ends, and I put it in the tumbler, tumble, tumble dryer to um, make them smaller and more windproof, and yeah, felt, felting basically. Uh, so these mittens are perfect if you have leftovers or oh, I actually weighed but I don't have it it's on my phone and I'm recording on my phone sorry maybe I'll do that in another episode if when they are really finished um, yeah three three leftovers you can also use four and then with a the diagram you have I didn't really follow it like this is supposed to the bottom, you see the white, it's supposed to have white cuff and a white thumb, but I wanted pink. So I kind of ch changed the diagram a bit with colors only on these two sections. So yeah, when I felt them, I think they will, I have a very small hand, almost like a kid's hand, <laughs> uh, very narrow and yeah. So I always need to knit the smallest, smallest uh, version. So yeah, I it, they were a lot of fun to knit, and you know when you're doing sections like this, oh, I I just want to finish this. I want to finish this, and then you're suddenly done. Uh, so yeah, but I think felting will be good. There will be extra work. Uh, so yeah, I just jumped into my finished objects. Okay, I have another one. <laughs> Which is not... Yay! <laughs> Blocked. Or washed up. Yay! This is um, a simple neck for my oldest daughter. She loves this. She loves colors like me so um i got this two balls of this yarn merino 22 so it's dk uh, extra fine merino wool not super washed actually um some dala so this is not norwegian wool <laughs> Uh, so I got two balls of this on a sale actually at my local yarn store and I thought okay this is perfect for small things to, uh, to knit to my girls um, and you know in the neckline this doesn't itch she loves the colors yeah so 
Uh, and the pattern is Siri's Ankle Hals or Siri's Simple Neck. It's, um, the designer is Siri Nielsen called Krauseri on Instagram. Uh, this is a collection of patterns. So she has <laughs> in the collection, she has, it's, it's a brilliant pattern. So this, the, I think it's six different ways you can make a neck. Uh, like this different but saddle yeah and then also uh, like a buff or a, yeah five or six maybe even seven different ways you can make a neck like this and then you have options different sizes so everything is calculated for you and also you can use DK yarn you can use is it iron yeah, so it's, I think it's four or five different yarn thicknesses as well. So you can use whatever you have and everything is adjusted. Yeah, it's brilliant. Okay, so this is my second with the I, second one I did with the round yoke. This is for the kid size, I think six to eight years. I, I made one for myself in December with a round yolk but in with thicker yarn and in adult size so pretty bit uh, straightforward and i have a plan i'm going to show you later um about another neck i want to make from the same pattern but it's just going to look different yeah and the leftovers is going to be a matching headband. I haven't decided on design, but a pretty basic thing, I guess. I hope I have enough yarn. So I just, it's almost a full ball. I think I changed balls like down here. So yep, throw it over there. <laughs> so now we're over to work in progress, whips. How many do I have here? One, two, three. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Just gotta jump into it. So this is more like status quo, where I'm at at the moment. I have plenty of plans and a lot to show. Uh, every a lot I want to show you, but I just have to start somewhere. So this is January, February kind of projects. Oh, missing a needle. <laughs> Okay, so the next one here is almost finished. Um, Lillebjörn Lue in Norwegian. It's little bear hat, I guess, from Knitting for Olive, Danish designers. So, <laughs> yeah, it's a head is going to be here, small ears. And I'm finishing in the back. Uh, and then the, I have knit this before. Oh, I should have shown you the finished one, but anyway, I think you get the idea. And then I'm going to make like eye cord to knot it under her chin. So this was just a single ball kind of project. I hope I have enough. Uh, I might have a leftover for the eye card if this isn't enough, but I'm, I'm getting there. It has a pretty neat construction in the back with German short rows and yeah it's easier to see when it's finished but it's not just back and forth it's yeah it's a different kind of construction than uh, usual for these kind of hats i have knit a few but not like this okay and i think i used the second needle for something else oh yeah okay so i will put this away so this will be finished soon <laughs> if i find my needle <laughs> Uh, okay, so this is a different segment <laughs> I have here. Okay, this is a big one. Uh, <laughs> Ta-da! It's a blanket. This was supposed to be finished. Oh, and I don't have the... Mm, I thought I prepared and... I don't have everything <laughs> anyway um so this is um it's a baby blanket 
it's knit in this one and I have my gun funeral so it's okay where did I put it yeah it's the same brand same color different thickness so this is you can use it for a lot of different but 24 to 26 so what was that sport weight but also you can use it as fingering and dk and this is 18 to 16 so worsted iron not bulky that's the big brother <laughs> bumps is bulky anyway so these yarns i think i've used have to show this this is just half <laughs> it's uh yay. and as you can see it's a rainbow <laughs> i have a thing for rainbows and i have a rainbow baby more about that later maybe um so yeah it's uh it was supposed to <laughs> i bought the yarn a while ago was supposed to be finished when my youngest was born a year ago this was actually my christmas cast on last year so and the baby hat was also cast on in during christmas early december and i was preoccupied with other things and i didn't finish so now i'm gonna finish and this was supposed to be finished earlier this february for my daughter's one year birthday <laughs> still isn't finished <laughs> but i'm getting there the thing is like the pattern is often baby blanket by a norwegian designer called often stick um so uh it's supposed to be more i have seven colors i think the pattern original one has a couple more colors and then two repeats but I have a fewer colors and uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm a bit off gauge here too. It's this kind of yarn, I don't know. So it's about 10, 5 or 10 centimeters wider <laughs> than it's supposed to be. But it doesn't matter, it's a blanket. And since she's not officially a baby, she's over, she's turned one. So it's, it's kind of like a, it's, it's actually, uh, it's a square right now. And so this would be a nice size for a baby um, <laughs> pick -a -boo. um but now i want it to be a bit bigger so i think i'm gonna do an extra repeat so it's kind of like half a grown-up blanket um so one more repeat like this so it has more length than yeah, because now it's a square basically 80 centimeters square so yeah so this is it's a big piece sorry uh it's bigger than a sweater so yeah i have some small projects and i've been working on this but i also got a bit tired because it's just garter stitch back and forth so it's, it's pretty mindless but then i get bored in the middle sections <laughs> But it's nice if you want to watch a movie or a Netflix and yeah, just need to have something in your hands. But it's a big project, so it's uh, it's not something I take along with me. So I like have like to have a big project and then a couple of small ones or a small one to bring with me in the car in the bag or yeah. So I'm always ready. Okay. Yeah, it's not ready. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I got a little bit interrupted. That's life with kids. <laughs> so I'll I don't know where I stopped, but yeah. Maybe I'll fix it in editing. Um I think I was on my whips and I have a small one here in my lap. Um <laughs> I, I don't want I only want to give you a small peek and I'll talk more about it next time. Okay. Are you ready? 
You might have seen this on other podcasts before, but peekaboo! <laughs> okay. So it's a leftover project and it's a lot of fun, but it's not finished and I want to finish it, show it to you when it's finished. Okay, so now that was my whips, uh, my planned knits. Okay, so I think I mentioned headband for this leftover. Uh, and these ones, so these are my leftover yarns from the sweater and the mittens um i thought oh, this is not enough <laughs> for what i want to make so i got another one but these are not the same batches anyway they're pretty similar but i'll figure it out uh this might be enough so i was thinking to make a hat called peace hat by pickles knits norwegian designer and yeah so this is not the original yarn in the pattern but um pickles knits they are designing norwegian designers and they have a yarn store in oslo and they ship everywhere but it's far away from me so i use what i have uh so this is going to be the pattern colors it's like uh, yeah bottom color hat with a brim and then two rows or of peace symbols so I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, I saw another podcaster that made that kind of hat with this yarn, uh, Nessa Strick. Um, and I asked her how much yarn she used, she used because I had leftovers and she said uh, it was just uh, over one ball, but you can get away with one if you make the brim a little shorter. So I'll just see what I do. Putting that away. Oh, I'm a bit in a hurry now because <laughs> things went a bit wrong <laughs> earlier and I'm losing daylight. So my next uh, planned object is to make something with these balls. Um, it's, these are all my favorite colors, <laughs> especially the purple and this. Yeah, I love colors. You're going to notice. Um, so I know that this ball, it's a 100 gram ball with 200 gram ball, no 100 grams, so it's two balls in one, 260 meters. So this is enough for a neck for me and a headband. Yay! <laughs> I'm going to make it work. I'll finish the headband and then I'll just make the neck. Um, how far? I'll see how far I get with one and then I'll just stop when it's empty. Um, so yeah, I, I made, uh, I knit up one ball in December. I might show you next time. Um, so I know one ball is enough. And that brings me into my purchases because this is a brand new purchase or a January purchase along with two other balls. These are the same colorway. You know, look how different they are. <laughs> so, um, this is from my local yarn store. They start, took in this kind of yarn last year, but now uh, I don't think they will continue with it. So I oh, got some of the last balls. And the thing is, like, pretty short that this is made of, it's a blow yarn, uh, and it's made of merino wool. Many blow yarns like this, they contain alpaca wool, and um, I'm allergic to alpaca. I just found out, like, a year and a half ago. So I sold all my alpaca yarn, and more about that another time. Anyway, so I've been missing, like, this kind of yarn quality um without a packa and i found this and i love it so neck uh, headband and the two others i hope i will have enough to make a vest or something for myself i wish i had one more ball I, that might be enough for 
for a sweater but mm -mm. so this i bought like full price yay <laughs> i just had to have them before they disappeared out of my life okay i'm a bit embarrassed now <laughs> whole bag of yarn i don't know it was 50 percent off or 70 percent off 50 but it's a bargain <laughs> okay you're going to i have my stash is <clears throat> reasonably sized but yeah okay i won't get into that but the thing is this is from my local yarn store i i really want to support that business and I buy full price yarn and I buy sale yarn. So this is soft cashmere. I think this is uh, from Camilla Peel, House of Yarn. Uh, I think they are going to discontinue this thing, this yarn. I don't know exactly, but I think so. So that's why my local yarn store stopped, uh, had them on sale. And I have known it with cashmere before and it's super soft. Um, so I thought, okay, maybe I can make a little scarf. Sometimes I love my colors, but sometimes you need a black accessory, <laughs> in my opinion. Anyway, so yeah, I have some small kind of shawl or accessory is planned for this. Okay, throw them over here and then <laughs> Per Gunt Sannes Garn, Norwegian yarn, uh, Norwegian wool, Norwegian factory. Um, this is a co discontinued color. It's called Passion Flower, and it's this beautiful purple. It's so my color. And Per Gunt is wonderful wool quality. How many did I buy? Let me check the receipt. Okay, that was not the receipt. <laughs> uh, it's Yeah, you saw the bag. Uh, all of them. So I have enough for a sweater plus even more. And uh, Sunday as well. This is a fingering thin merino wool, non-super wash. It's the same color so you know this is a perfect color for me and my daughters so there won't be a problem to use this uh okay oh i have some more i know i have more <laughs> and she had this is thin silk mohair also from sana's garden the same color uh, oh this is so full Yes, yeah, so I think I have five of these. Oh no, I have I bought them all. <laughs> yeah, uh, this was a real sale haul. This was full price, so this hasn't. Uh, it's not on sale yet, but you know when if I want to use one strand of each, then I have the option to do so. Sunday, fourteen. Seven of silk mohair. 18 per gint. <laughs> yeah, but it was on sale, so it was really, really good value. Okay, mm. I'll try not to be ashamed. So, yeah, January people go on sale in the, to buy clothes or whatever. I apparently buy yarn on sale. Uh, I think, uh just move over to a little bit of knit and life chat i don't know before i have to go downstairs to my family and whee! so this is the easiest knit i have stitch stoppers off oh yeah 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 this is nice oh no i have one left uh, last purchase it's also what I'm wearing today. Like usually I think I will do this segment in the beginning of the episode, but this is uh, also a purchase. It's um, 
the design is Balloon Sweater by Petit Knit. I did not knit this. Um, like an Instagram friend of mine, Stricker Foru, she made it and she didn't use it. So she sold it and also I got it, got it for a good price. Uh, it's uh, one strand of thin silk mohair, I don't know which brand, and one strand of some fingering yarn and it's it might be sunday and thin silk mohair from sonnescan i don't know quite for sure uh it's this lovely yellow color this is a design that i've been eyeing for a long time since it came out really many years ago but uh i i don't think i have it in me to make it it's got balloon arms it's pretty uh, it's below my waist but you know it's stockinette and then in the round and then back and forth for half the sweater so i think that is the main reason that i don't think i'll knit this myself but oh i really like it uh, it's very warm this room is a bit chilly so it's okay but when i had to go downstairs earlier i'm like whoa i'm sweating so yeah last just that and um what did i write yeah so for um january i don't know uh yeah why didn't i start recording a podcast like straight away after vlogmas well the energy just boo, in january um we were not sleeping well uh, my baby girl she's um, sometimes awake a lot <laughs> during the nights and uh, it, it's been tummy aches and sickness and a lot of stuff going on so i was exhausted after christmas christmas is a lot of stuff going on a lot of socializing a lot of yeah, for a long period of time, um, and yeah, combined with the not sleeping, and also uh, I have a chronic illness that takes a lot of my energy. I don't have the normal amount of energy, so I won't talk too much about that. It's not defining who I am, <laughs> I hope. Uh, but you know, it can make life difficult sometimes, especially during holidays when people are expected to do it all and things are supposed to be perfect and jolly and uh, yeah and I'm struggling to keep up so January is usually is uh, it's, yeah it's a month that's a bit tricky I think many people work with chronic illnesses um, can relate to that because when you use more energy than you have for a period of time, you kind of have to pay for it. So, yeah, so that was January. Um, I wanted to do like a New Year's episode and wrap up of 2023. I might, I, I, I am planning to do it. I have some stuff on my side here that I've been starting to prepare. And I actually wanted to make that kind of episode before this, but now I'm like, okay, I'll just have to start with what's the easiest and I'll get back into it. Do that kind of episode. I have a lot of episodes planned. So this is more like a welcome 2024 and what I've been doing so far. Um, and also February came with sickness. Um, we celebrated Mother's Day and uh, we had um, my baby got sick and I got sick so we got eye infection <laughs> you know the one where you kind of glues your eyes eyelids together in your sleep uh, it's, most kids have it and but getting it as a grown-up <laughs> it's, it's not fun like my eyelids swell they swell up like I look like I, I had been in a fight. Maybe I, I took some photos and I look. Yeah, I don't really have words. 
I, yeah, I looked like I had been in a fight or and it was a straight out of bed kind of picture. I don't know if I did to post it or show you, but it was terrible. <laughs> and this lasted, lasted. I think we, I was getting better in one eye and then the other eye and then she was getting better and then she got it again and she gave it to me. So we were doing all this kind of dance, giving the bugs <laughs> back and forth. And I tried to like um, have separate, um, towels when we washed our hands and uh, yeah but it it's very infectious uh, so people stayed away from us we were supposed to celebrate our daughter's one year birthday that was the same day as mother's day uh, but we ended up just being uh, cancelling the family celebration and <laughs> yeah and we had to cancel last weekend too and then now we're trying again this weekend so it's like yeah time is flying things happened um so yeah that's life um oh i kind of lost my air here <laughs> knitting and talking way too much so maybe i'll show you some footage about that or yeah but this was really nice uh, I'm looking forward to doing more regular episodes, uh, if I have something to show, I hope I do, maybe, I'm a bit, I waited a long time to start this podcast because I thought, like, things have to be perfect, I have to have, like, a special camera and microphone and equipment and... I had to learn like uh, new editing skills and a lot of yeah I had to do that too but editing I mean but I'm just using my phone and when I realized that many people just record on their phones and it doesn't have to be perfect it doesn't have to be perfect lighting like now it's getting dark but you know we're just sitting here talking um I just figured yeah I can do it too it's I do this for me and if you want to watch and when you sit in your sofa in the evenings and do some knitting and you want to hear me look at somebody or me <laughs> ramble about their hobby or shared hobby then yeah i love watching other podcasts um both norwegian and international i'm uh, watching podcasts from sweden finland denmark um, the netherlands uh, the us canada yeah if you have a favorite podcast like write the comments in the write it in the comments below i'd love to check it out um yeah so um, hopefully uh, we'll see each other sometime soon or i you see me and i i hope you write me a comment or something i would love to get some feedback um this has been a lot of fun i need to go back to my family Keep knitting. <gasps> okay. Ciao, ciao. Ha <laughs> det bra.